everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Popo from Gaming here, and today I'm playing some more Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. So, uh, today we are doing another challenge with Cursed Mirrors because it's it's the hardest map in the game, so it makes it kind of fun. Uh, I do quickly want to say, uh, sorry that there hasn't been a video these past two days. There probably won't be another one for the next two or three days. I do apologize about it. Upload schedule will be back to normal soon. Uh, just, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I've been busy, that's really all, so hopefully be back to normal soon, but yeah, sorry, this is probably the only video you have for a little while, sorry about that. But today, we actually have something that might be a fair bit of fun, uh, basically I'm using all the dark characters, because there's a lot of them, I think there's even, I think there's six or seven. Uh, darts are really powerful, just look at this dragon things, it's pretty strong. <laughs> uh, not much else to say about it. Dark towers are very powerful in general, we have... Max, uh, Hunter Marshland, Super Monkey, Psy, and Com not and Commander Cassie. Almost forgot about Juggernaut Max, uh, which I've done multiple times. But I'll quickly go through the bills here just so you can take a look. I'm not gonna explain everything, uh, but just thought I'd mention or just thought I'd show them to you in case you're curious. Uh, some of them are less uh, dart focused, such as Juggernaut Max is here, uh, simply because I sort of ran out of good trinkets for them. I only have so many ones that are that great, so sometimes I have to use ones that are a little bit worse than normal. Uh, this should be a lot of fun, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure it should be doable. I don't know. Uh, all these towers are pretty powerful, and I have a lot of them, so I can't imagine this being that hard. But we also have, like, no income or anything like that. And all these towers are relatively expensive, so it's a little hard to know, all things considered. That was bad placement. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just awful placement on my part. Marcelin, you get to go in the middle. Because <laughs> uh, you're going to be soloing these first couple rounds. Hunter Marcelin, so useful on a map with multiple paths that don't always, like, they don't all connect. It's so helpful to have a tower with just full map range that also happens to have the ability to eventually pop all balloon types thanks to the soul stealing. That also allows for no allies. Like, without an ally, without an snappity, which you still steal the soul of DTs and decamo all balloons. Very, very useful. <laughs> Uh, so Hunter Marceline's gonna be hard carrying this, uh, with basically Super Monkey, Psy, Max, and Juggernaut Max, and Commander Cassie, almost forgot about her, uh, mostly here just to demolish Bad Balloons and ZMGs, uh, cause everything else I'm pretty sure Hunter Marceline could just solo. Uh, another video I probably am gonna be doing at some point in the next little while, uh, is Hunter Marceline Ultra Buff seeing if she can solo this map. Uh, Psy got close, if you wanna see the video, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description, if I don't leave a comment, and I'll put it in the description as fast as possible. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure me just mentioning the video means there's a high likelihood at the end of this, when YouTube recommends a video for you, uh, it'll recommend this video, or the video I'm talking about. YouTube's algorithm's pretty good about that. Um, so yeah, even if you don't bother checking the description, there's these nods you'll find the video anyways. If not, you could always search it up on the channel, or just look it up in general. Uh, just Psy Ultra Buff would probably get it for you. Uh, but yeah, regardless of all that, we're here at the challenge today, uh, which again, should be a fair bit of fun. Hunter Marcelin makes this so much easier. Without Hunter Marcelin, uh, this would definitely be much harder, and it will be, trust me. Uh, I, I don't remember if I did Hunter Marcelin solo on this map before, but she definitely can. I don't even remember I've used all three premium characters. I don't even remember if they beat, like, all 75 rounds, so trust me when I tell you Hunter Marcelin not gonna be soloing this. Uh, it probably won't be that hard, but, uh, Hunter Marceline definitely not soloing. Probably only the first 30, 40 rounds. She could probably beat Moabs, but not be a beast. She's not that powerful, especially since, uh, if you didn't know, her, she doesn't quite have full map range. I mean, she sort of does, but she doesn't, like, her projectiles have a homing feature, and they have, like, they can only move so fast. So, technically, some darts will miss, as you can probably tell. Uh, and since the balloons, at least for large parts of the track, will be far away from Hunter Marcelin, uh, she's gonna miss a lot, so that kind of sucks. Uh, also, she has to be able to steal the souls of a camo balloon and lead balloon before she gets those, uh, properties, so that could be an issue. So, just in case that is an issue, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get my first towers that aren't her. I'm just gonna start off with Max on one side and Psy on the other, just to make sure we can pop all balloon types, I'll get Psy to lead pong power. Uh, and these are gonna be my, like, just-in-case towers. If Hunter Marcelin messes up, doesn't get the Bloom Pump power in time, uh, these towers will hopefully save the day. I have way more faith in Psy than Max, so I'm just gonna get, uh, Seeking Shurikens on Psy and probably a bunch of upgrades on Max, because I don't have much faith on Max. Max is not that powerful. 
Uh, though to be fair, the Max, uh, Dragon of Max 2000 Popple did do rather well, and it worked out rather well, like they were pretty powerful, so I guess maybe they deserve more credit. I'm also just double checking, none of these towers have money making, right? No, I don't think so. Pretty much every single dart uses just mainly offense. Also, Hunter Marston, you didn't steal the soul in time. I should probably get the full map range ability, steal soul or soul steal. Uh, but first, I'm actually going to go ahead and go for Sumaki because I just remembered, although uh, there is technically no, like, money making, uh, Sumaki can provide a discount, which is rather significant. I believe it's 10%. Come on, Hunts and Abadir, or not Hunts and Abadir. Hunter Marston, steal the soul of the balloons already. Uh, there's a chance, I think, given the current placement, that she can seal the soul before they get popped. It's just pretty unlikely. Um, but it, it's much better off if she does. Come on, steal the soul of something. <laughs> Timing is not adding up all that well. Also, it's already around 30. We are not gonna have enough money for much. Maybe I should equip some soul stones, get some discounts here. That probably would've been smart. Also, Hunter Marston, please, please steal the soul of these balloons. This is very scary. I have no faith in Max. Like, none at all. Uh, also, Sue Monkey's here. I kind of want to put Sue Monkey in a worse spot just so he applies the discount to more stuff. But I'm just going to put him over here. Sorry, Max. No discount for you. <laughs> I mean, it's mostly here for Hunter Marcelin anyways. I'll buy the discount. Buy the full map uh, Soul Steel ability. Uh, so we can get camera protection and pump power on her. And then just mostly, pretty much fully upgrade Hunter Marcelin. And I'll get set up on my other towers as well. Because they'll all be pretty helpful as well. Uh, not that helpful. These four are the best towers. Uh, Commander Cassie and Juggernaut Max, they're good, but they're very expensive and they're somewhat lackluster. Commander, Cad Commander Cassie, rather, can be very good uh, and is very good with minimal trinkets, but with a lot of trinkets and a lot of towers, she falls off. She's not that great of a solo tower. Uh, not solo tower, just not that great of a, like, single DPS tower. Uh, also, still no camera protection soul steal. I guess I really, really need Feast of the Damned. Uh, but come on, this really is annoying. They're so close. Also, I'm really tempted to buy some upgrades for uh, Hunter, not Hunter Marcelin, for Max, because this is scary. But we're okay for now. Come on, Hunter Marcelin, our b balloons. We only need another $1,300. Max, why are you so terrifying? You're not doing good enough of a job. I'm tempted to move Psy over, but that would not end well. That would end even worse. Okay, we need like 300 more bucks. This shouldn't be that hard. Then it won't take very long to get the camo and lead balloon properties. As soon as they show up, I just use the ability and then we're all good. Uh, I guess I'll save up for smart stakes and stuff and buy like blood rush, things like that. Uh, just some better upgrades. Straight path is not good. I want uh, the circle path, actually, I believe so. Uh, camo balloons, are you here yet? Lead balloons, are you here yet? No, no, okay, I'm gonna leave it on slow-mo until we get that, because I kind of need it, and I'm nervous. If I don't leave it on slow-mo, I'll miss my chance, and then we'll die. Uh, that probably won't happen, but I want to play it safe. Uh, we also get to see Hunter Marshland's, like, homing projectiles completely miss these balloons. There were, did you see that? There was just, like, 20 states all going for a yellow balloon, and they went, like, opposite sides of it, and they all missed. Like, look at that. There's, like, just yellows and pink balloons, and we're missing them all. Hunter Marshland, you need to step up your game. Um... Also, this is taking a long time. I thought there were so many camo balloons and lead balloons. What happened to them all? Where do they all go? I want to have these properties before, like, DETs show up. It's not good if I have to wait for DETs to get these abilities. Okay, camo leads. Perfect. Souls taken. Now we can pop camos and lead balloons. That's very easy. That was a good solution. Uh, I believe garlic bombs give circular path. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I can just save up for smarter stakes and we're all good. And we also now have a circular path, which I think is better. Debatably, straight line would have been better. I think circular path's better. I don't know which is right. Uh, also, we're still struggling so much. So even with Max down under Marcelin, we're definitely gonna need more support. I'll start off with Max, simply because Max is here. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna try to get Juggernaut Max on the left side as well. Because Max is pretty good more of DPS. Juggernaut Max is pretty good with the ceramics. Uh, so I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Just go for Popmization, then Juggernaut Max. Commander Cassie I'll probably put on the right side. I think that makes a fair bit of sense. Uh, I, I think that makes sense, hopefully. Also, I'm feeling much less confident that we can actually win this, uh, let alone that this would be easy, so, you know, that's, that kind of sucks. Uh, but I will go for Juggernaut Max now, which should help a little bit. We just have no money. You make such little money from the balloons in this game. If you, like, basically took all BC6 towers and plopped them into Balloons Adventure on Tower Defense, it would be completely impossible. I don't even know if you could beat Hard Mode, just because this game relies so much on trinkets and weapons that base, like, pricing makes no sense. Like, C4 Charlie's ability is, like, the same power as, or, like, it's a longer ability cooldown, but it's the same damage 
as a mob eliminator from E36, but costs like a fifth as much. Also, these fortified mob class balloons are terrifying. Uh, thank you, Juggernaut Max, for finally being ready. I need your help. Uh, thankfully, Juggernaut Max is actually pretty powerful, especially with Keep Rolling, which we'll get soon enough. Uh, but I still don't love this by any means. This is still somewhat terrifying. I still don't like it very much. Uh, but hey, we at least have some support. And I forgot uh, Juggernaut Max as well as Commander Cassie, but in this case, the only reason it matters is Juggernaut Max. Uh, has the missile trinket, so that's kind of nice. That's a pretty, uh, pretty solid full range support as well. I guess I'll go for Juggernaut first. I mean, Keep Rolling's great, but I might as well get Juggernaut first. I'm gonna max him out anyways. Uh, and then I'll probably fully upgrade Psy next. I don't like Soup Monkey as much, honestly. The upgrades are expensive. I don't think they're as worthwhile. Uh, so truth be told, Soup Monkey, you're probably just gonna stay as you are. You're powerful and all, but you don't really need the support, especially since we have deep camo and I gave him a trinket to pop lad balloon. So we're really all good. Uh, I need about 700 more bucks for keep rolling. His ability's useless, so we're not gonna buy that. And then I'll probably save up for, or not uh, save up, uh, I'll upgrade Psy and then I'll save up for Commander Cassie after that. Uh, but Psy first, because Psy is significantly better and more cost-effective than Commander Cassie, as far as I'm concerned. Psy, definitely one of my favorite towers. Uh, very useful. It's debatable if Hunter Marceline's better. She definitely might be, but Psy's pretty close. If Hunter Marceline is better, Psy's definitely a close second. They both have, like, the slow support abilities and skills. Um, they both have high damage, fire a lot of darts. Both darts are homing. Uh, obviously, Hunter Marston has full map range, which is very useful, though, so it's a little abatable if that makes sense comparatively. Also, this is a normal Moral Plus Balloon. That's very scary. I don't like it. Uh, that is one of the great things about Commander Cassie, once we get her up, is she obviously has full map range with uh, both her missiles and her planes. Uh, so that should be very useful. Uh, some extra full map range to support Commander Cassie or Hunter Marston. All sorts around 60. Soul Steel. Why didn't that work? It's one ZMG, that's all... <laughs> You had such a simple job, Hunter Marcelin. Why do you suck at it so much? Now that the soul's actually stolen, we still are struggling a ton and we're still dead. No, we're not dead. That was way too terrifying. <laughs> okay, so we need some upgrades pretty fast. I'm gonna go for Sabotage to Byline now, and then never mind Balloon Jitsu. We're rushing Commander Cassie, because we really need full map range towers. I still think Commander Cassie on the left. I don't know if I said that already, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but first, uh, Sabotage to Pylons, because that's more useful. At least as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I think that'll be more useful. Maybe I'm wrong, but having the ability to just slow things down by 50%, very, very useful. Obviously, it works on everything except the bad balloon, uh, but the bad balloon's still 12 rounds away, so we still have a fair bit of time to make up more money, so we'll hopefully be able to do a better job of taking care of things. Uh, though I'm definitely scared. Once like, multiple ZMGs start showing up, DTs, it's gonna be scary. Um, hopefully, we'll be okay for the time being. So, do I wanna put Commander Cassie over here? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, everything, pretty much all the hard rounds except the bad balloon itself are on the left here, I think. Is that true? Um, most of the hard rounds are on the left, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I don't know why I'm getting camera protection first, I guess I am. And then I'll probably just focus down on the planes and the missile upgrades, because uh, those are very helpful for obvious reasons. Uh, I'll start with missiles. Actually, no, I'll start with the planes. I think they're better. They make more sense to save up for them. Um... Yeah, so we should be able to get pretty much all of those upgrades set up, which is awesome. Also, I equipped the fighter plane uh, epic trinket onto Commander Cassie as well, so that's nice and useful. Uh, see, this is the great thing. Apparently, Soul Steel has some limited range effect, which is dumb, because I'm pretty sure it's meant to affect all booms on screen. But you know what does affect all booms on screen? Sabotage supply lines, which is awesome. I mean, the Soul Steel should, but it kind of doesn't. Also, let me just double check real quick. That is what the ability says, right? For Hunter Marcelin, it says. Uh, suck the souls from all balloons on the screen. Lies. Lies, I tell you. <laughs> I wonder how many, like, uh, upgrade descriptions in this game, or trinket descriptions or whatever in this game, just don't work how they say they do. I feel like probably quite a few. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Also, we have a lot of money, apparently, so yay, upgrades. Uh, Missile Barrage, probably the last one I'm gonna get. Uh, it's around 69 DTs. Uh, I'm kinda terrified. Let's see how well this goes. Please be easy. Please be easy. Fortify the ETs. Doesn't get much harder than that. Okay, it's easy. That's not that's not that bad. We're all good. Um, awesome. Okay, so obviously there's going to be some hard rounds soon. Uh, we're going to get quickly Missile Barrage, and then I'll probably save up bl Balloon Jitsu next. Because uh, obviously the remaining rounds right now are going to be on the right. Uh, at least the next two rounds are going to be on the right after this one. Uh, 71, 72, and then 73 and 74, which are also very hard on the left. But they honestly should be pretty easy. Um... Because, for a few reasons, also slow down, that was terrifying. 
Uh, but for a few reasons. The big one is that Juggernaut Max kind of demolishes round 74. That's like the one round that he's really, really good against. Uh, and round 73 is certainly hard, but it's not that bad. And I'm feeling fairly confident. This was actually a far harder challenge than I was expecting, though. Also, stupid Soul Steel be stupid and didn't work, so I'm scared again. <laughs> Okay, round 72 is significantly harder than that was, and I'm still nowhere near Bloom Jitsu. I don't love that. Uh, I gotta time my abilities a bit better here. At least, I think this round's really hard. Maybe it's not. I mean, it's just the CMGs again, which suck, but they're not that bad. Um, I'm feeling more confident. I definitely am. I'm gonna use the Sap Charles, because I'll probably get it back up in time. Not to mention, we'll have the Soul Steel ready. Uh, though it doesn't look like that's actually all that necessary, because it looks like Sap Charles Highlines is really, really useful, and we're all good, right? That's just a couple more, so we should be all set. Awesome. I actually do have Blue Jitsu. I will still buy it. Uh, at this point, I should probably try to save my money, because I'll probably sell and rebuy everything on the right for the Bad Balloon. Because uh, I have no idea how hard the Bad Balloon's going to be. It might be easy. It might be super difficult. I want to make sure I'm safe. Uh, DTs, definitely scary, but they're not that big of a threat. Uh, the BFP should be a joke, and then we're really just left with the CMGs, which I'm sure will be difficult, but not that bad. Is the second one even fortified? It is. Uh, that's, that could be an issue, but it shouldn't be that big of an issue. I'll still save the sabotage for later, uh, AK once they actually get in range of my towers, which is right now. So, sabotage, activate the ability. I will have the source to ready if need be, but hopefully it will all set. Um, I mean, we should be good. This looks like we'll be all okay, and we're all okay. Okay, round 74, I will keep, still keep it in slow-mo, because the big wave comes out pretty early. Uh, but this really shouldn't be that bad, especially since I can go... Boom! Soul Steel, that was not necessary. <laughs> if they didn't even touch the track, just everything just died. Also, Auto Start definitely needs to be turned off here. I have like 5k saved up. <laughs> There's no way I'm saving up these upgrades. Okay, Commander Cassie can just stay here. Uh, the only thing I'd be missing is the base attack, which I don't care about that much. Uh, and that's a lot of money to spend, so I'll sell these two, move these guys around. Uh, everything else here should be good. I don't think it's worth buying either of their upgrades. Uh, so I'm just gonna work on getting these towers over here, the towers that might actually do something. So Max, again, as I said, is pretty decent DPS against more Plast Balloons, especially with the ability, so I'll actually go ahead and buy that this time. Uh, and then I guess I'll still go, um, Juggernaut Max, it's, it's decent DPS. He's not awful. He's not great, but he's certainly not awful, so... Actually, we were able to buy pretty much everything. Like, literally, pretty, like, no, that is everything, I think, so we should be all good. Uh, let's take a look how awful is this round gonna be. Do we stand any chance against the bad balloon? I don't think so, but let's take a look. Um, I guess I'll activate you, not that it will probably matter. Once Max is in range, I'll activate his ability. Um, I don't think we'll win, but I really don't know. Because our CMG DPS wasn't even all that insane, so I heavily doubt we'll be able to beat this fortified bad balloon. Currently, it looks like the damage is definitely pretty low, uh, but it's certainly not non-existent. We might pop it. I don't know, I'll keep my eye out, I'll leave it on slow-mo, get my abilities ready for necessary, but it doesn't even look like it's gonna get popped at this rate, uh, and we really can't possibly have more DPS than that. I'm honestly kind of surprised. I thought this would work better than it did, uh, but it still doesn't even look like we're really gonna pop it, no. Okay, so that's honestly, that sucks. Uh, I'm surprised, really. Like, that, those are six really powerful towers. I know this is the hardest map ever, as hardest map ever. I know this is the hardest map in the game, but still, I'm very surprised by that. I thought that would have gone significantly better. Uh, that was a lot of fun, though, I will say that much. Um, overall, though, what I will say is, I guess that kind of just proves how hard that map is. Because uh, there's some powerful towers, powerful build, powerful everything. And uh, the Bad Balloon was still pretty strong. I think it was still like 20, 30% HP, so that kind of sucks. Uh, basically, if I want to do a challenge on this map, note to self, they gotta be really powerful. Also, that kind of puts into perspective how powerful buffs are with Psy. <laughs> the ultra buff Psy, a spoilers now, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure it got to the same damage phase of the Bad Balloon, which means an ultra buff Psy did the same amount of damage as Psy, plus Super Monkey, plus Hunter Marsland fully upgraded, plus fully upgraded Max, plus fully upgraded um, Juggernaut Max, plus quite a few upgrades from Commander Cassie. How did that happen? That's insane. Uh, but anyways, thank you all for watching. There is also this firework event on the 4th of July event. Uh, kind of early, but whatever. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Give the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Leave a comment. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Or not, because again, won't be a video for a couple days. But whatever. Bye.